Hey everybody and welcome to my second installment of Q&A Wednesdays where I'm going to be talking to you all about holistic nutrition and how to um, get better health through eating real foods. So much fun. And so uh, this is my chance to answer some of the questions that you guys have been asking uh, about nutrition and one of the big topics is how to lose or manage weight through diet. Um, Obviously, this is just a short Q&A, so I'm not going to have time to get into everything, but I'm just going to address some of the most common questions I've been getting so far on this. And one of the big big ones is, should I stay away from carbs if I'm trying to lose weight? Now this, I'm sure you've been you've heard being debated left, right, and center for years and years and years. Uh, it, unfortunately, it is still very much a topic of debate. However, as a holistic nutritionist, I just do not advocate staying away from carbs. It's an essential macronutrient. We need to eat carbohydrates. Uh, we need the glucose for our, to function, for our brains to function. I mean, there's so many reasons why carbs are good. Yes, I said it, carbs are good. The carbs that you don't want, obviously, are refined carbs. Those are carbs like your breads, your, you know, your heavily processed pastas, uh, white rice, that sort of thing, which just instantly, there's, it's stripped of all sorts of its nutrients, so it sort of just instantly hits the bloodstream as pure um, glucose. So, you know, it uh, raises your blood sugar, it, it leads to a, a nasty cascade of events and being hangry and bad blood sugar problems and all the rest. So that's sort of where you get into tr trouble with carbs, which is refined carbs. Now, when you're talking about complex carbs, like sweet potatoes, brown rice, legumes. These are things that we need to be healthy. I mean, there's so many vitamins in complex carbs. They're so great to manage our blood sugar. Um, they have so much fiber. I mean, that's the thing with complex carbs. You're gonna get fiber, and fiber is such a critical um, nutrient for us to have for digestion and elimination, and I mean, it's just enough really can't be said about it. So no, I don't recommend um, cutting out carbs to lose weight. I recommend having a moderate and varied approach to your diet. That includes car complex carbohydrates. So that is my answer. Don't stay away from the carbs. They're good for you. All right. The next question is, I, I know that you advocate eating real food, but are any packaged goods okay? This is a good question because it's true. I mean, I do try and stay away from packaged goods when, it, when at all possible. So instead of buying, you know, like a packaged nut bar from the store, it's better just to have raw nuts and seeds and eat those. That being said, I do realize that people are on the go and sometimes you're in a situation where you just, you need to grab a convenience of packaged food. And I would just say, if you're gonna grab packaged foods, make sure you look at the ingredients and that there aren't very many of them and that you know you can recognize what each of the ingredients are. So you don't wanna go through and turn a, turn a package good over and look through 20 different ingredients that have all sorts of um, synthetic chemicals that you don't even know how to pronounce those packaged goods are not okay. So I would just say stay away from them when possible. Sometimes you're gonna eat a packaged good and it's okay, don't beat yourself up about it, but just try to stay away from them. So it's really important to always pack snacks with you when you go somewhere so that you don't kind of run into that. And plus these days, people are getting so much better about actually um, making healthier options. You know, where I go down, there's a store down the street from me that, that uh, sells those little um, protein balls that are, you know, nut butters and coconut and nuts and all the rest rolled up into a ball, super healthy, and they're packaged. So, you know, there, there are better options these days, which are great. So I would just say flip it over, look at the ingredients, and don't try and find something that where sugar is not at the top of the list. Because even if it's all whole foods and you can recognize them, when there's like, you know, sugar's number two and number three and number four, that happens a lot, you know, that's just going to be a pure shot of sugar into the bloodstream and it's just not good. Um, do healthy fats make you gain weight? Now, there's a lot of talk in the nutrition world about healthy fats. Everyone's always talking about healthy fats because they're essential. I mean, there are essential fatty acids, omega-3s and omega-6s, which our body can't produce. So we need to be getting those healthy fats in. And then there are other um, healthy fats like your olive oils um, and whatnot that are just great for all sorts of things. You know, your, your skin and hair and nails. Um, every cell membrane has fat as a component of it. So we, we need to have those healthy fats. Will they make you fat? If you eat 10 avocados a day, 
maybe you will gain some weight. It, it's possible. Um, I, it's probably highly likely. Um, but that being said, you know, with everything, it's moderation and, and variety is key. So, you know, don't be afraid of avocado. Don't be afraid of nuts and seeds because if you're eating a whole foods diet, really, and even if you have like a huge handful of nuts, you don't really have to worry about it. Your body will know how to process all of that stuff. I said it before, I don't count calories. If, as long as you're staying away from that packaged stuff, your body will be a sort of well-oiled machine that knows how to handle the fats. And you'll also be full. You know, if you, I dare you to sit down. No, I don't dare you. But I challenge you, you know, to think about sitting down and eating two cups of nuts. I mean, you just couldn't do it. It's just, it'd be so filling because your body will signal to your brain that you're full. That's the beauty of whole foods. Okay, we're running out of time. Um, what are some general nutritional strategies to managing weight? That's a big one, right? Because it's general. And I did do a blog on this, which I'll include a link in the comments below. I kind of just went over some really basic nutritional strategies, you know, like bringing water with you and drinking lots of water. Because sometimes when you're hungry, you're actually not really hungry. You're just dehydrated and your body wants water. So you can try that first. Always have water. Drink as much of it as you can in a day. I mean, most people aren't getting enough water. So you can aim for eight to ten glasses or more if you want. Um, if you're eating a lot of water-rich foods, it's, you know, you can scale back. It's very individual, but you know, water is very key. Packing your snacks, like we talked about before, you know, if you're out on the road or you're busy doing something and you're hungry and you have nothing, you will make a bad choice. You'll eat whatever is available to you. So if you always just have like an apple, some nut butters, so, some nuts and seeds, some hummus, like in a little, I have these tiny little, um, take out your containers, like to-go containers that I take with me so you can dip uh, Mary's crackers in it or some cut up vegetables. If you always have something with you, you won't get that crash, that, that hangry feeling where you're just gonna eat anything. So balancing blood sugar, I mean, that brings us to balancing blood sugar. It's so, so, so important. This is one of the biggest things that causes people to have that 3 p.m. crash or you know, you're reaching for sugary foods because you're, you're just so hungry. It's because your blood sugar is low. And the reason it's low is because you're on this blood sugar roller coaster where you're eating foods that are instantly turned into sugar and you're spiking your blood sugar, your insulin's bringing that blood sugar down super low. So then you're getting you know low blood sugar moment where then you're just super hang hangry, hungry, whatever you wanna call it, up, you know, you're irritated, you're not focused. And then you know it's this whole vicious cycle and you're making bad food choices and then you have cravings and all the rest. So managing your blood sugar really means try to include protein and fiber with every meal and every snack and healthy fats. Those, those um, those nutrients together will help satisfy you, keep you full longer, you know, um, it will kind of maintain this nice even blood sugar, you'll make better decisions. I mean, it's just huge um, cascade of events. So you really want to manage your blood sugar. And I talk about that a little bit in that blog. Um, and really just increase your veggies. I mean, at the end of the day, yes, fruits are good. And I've talked about my love of fruits. Fruits are great. Veggies are lower in sugar and lower in calories generally, but they have so much fiber. So if you just make sure that every time you eat, your plate is just full of veggies, you will get full, you will feel satisfied. It will be fantastic. You'll get all those nutrients, all those micronutrients in the veggies, and it's just a way healthier way to go. Um, there's lots of other suggestions, obviously, around general nutritional guidelines, but those are some of them. I mean, digestion is a huge thing that I'll get into in another um, Q&A session. But for now, I think that's a good place to start. Um, like I said, I'll mention those links in the comments below. And yeah, I hope that this was somewhat useful for you guys who had questions around managing your weight through nutrition. Um, if you have any more questions around this or anything else, please uh, just hit me up in the comments section below or you can email me at info at kimdion.com or just find me on Twitter or Facebook if you wanna kind of put it out there for a discussion. I'm at kimdion.com and of course, if you like this video, please hit like and share it with your friends. And if you want to see more of it, subscribe so I can keep doing it. Thank you guys so much. I'll see you next time. Bye.